This week starts with a journey from the pages of New Mexico Magazine. Reading about US Highway 60 inspired me to hit the road. Cruising through towns of days gone by, days when cattle drives and mining were the status quo, it's a bit of a surprise to come across the VLA. It's so crazy driving through the desert and randomly seeing all these little dishes popping up. It's so wild. I decided I should make a quick stop and see the VLA up close. After checking out the visitor center, I had the opportunity to meet Dave Finley, who works at the VLA. So Dave, when you're coming down the road, you see all these dishes. So what are they and how do they work? These are dish antennas. They collect radio waves just like your satellite dish antenna uh, collects the radio waves from a satellite in space. What we do is we have 27 antennas out here. They're spread far apart so that we can see very high level of detail. We combine the signals received from all 27 uh, in one giant supercomputer and process them and come out with an image at the end. We really are on the frontier. Um, the excitement of science is the excitement of discovery. And that's what we're doing here. We're constantly discovering new things about the universe. We're taking this zoo of strange things out there in the universe and learning how they work. Everything from studying the sun, studying planets here in our own solar system, out to other galaxies when they collide. So for someone that maybe doesn't know a lot about science, what would bring them here? Well, this is forefront science. Almost every specialty in astronomy has benefited from new things they've learned here at the VLA. Because science is, is not just a little compartment. There's, there's uh, interaction between the various parts of science. But the other attraction is just this scene. You come up over the hill, that last hill, and you see these what look like little white things in the desert. Yeah. And then you get up close and you see that it's a 230 ton dish antenna that towers over you by 94 feet. It's sort of an icon for people. Dave also walked me over to the VLA's latest installation, their new sundial. The sundial was erected as a monument to Ron Bracewell, a pioneer in radio astronomy. But I couldn't wait to check out one of these antennas up close. They're just so massive. Wow. It's so cool to be able to just see the antennas, but when you actually think about what they're doing, observing the universe, it just blows your mind. What was going to be a quick stop turned out to be a real journey. 